All right, we're gonna take Carcano, Biancho, Water Ivor, or Brita. We're gonna be using Fenyan, Leo, Alia. So we've used this before. We're just gonna be going straight for the Brita first, I believe so, and then from there it should be one. Um, we have some good AI manipulation, so it's not that bad. But for the most part, the biggest threat is that Brita and Biancho going onto your Alia can get pretty scary. So we're gonna to try to mitigate that as best as we can. Um, do make sure you're running a tanky Leo because you, you can really die from Carcano damage and Biancho damage. So we're going to be careful here and try not to let that happen. And again, make sure your team's all like close to zero speed, I guess. You want to maximize your builds. I still got to reroom my Fang in. But there are a lot of supports that sh share like a zero speed Leo team build, so... This Aaliyah set, for example, I use on my other supports and it works out pretty well, so. Yeah, it should be fine. All right, let's get into it. Ooh, I thought I was gonna lag there. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, Okay, there it goes. Um, Okay, we can detect the builds. So I guess we can go ahead and desync a little bit. Nice. Okay, defense break goes out. Um. We could probably go ahead and apply the defense break now because we don't want to. We don't want to put up the revenge on the Young Chol. We don't want to yoink in that. Um, we'll go ahead and put this up just so we have immunity on our Fang Yan. We need to get some stacks in our Aaliyah though. Ooh, I kind of don't like that though. That I kind of forgot she absorbs. So she has some pretty high accuracy. Um, I guess we have to go ahead and do this, huh? We kind of need that sustain. Okay, good pushback. Ooh, he's moving. Ooh, they're doing a lot of damage. Okay, let's do this. Don't like the situation we're in though. This is kind of a really high, high accuracy team. So we're kind of taking a lot of damage, but I do not like this so far. Definitely built to counter this, I feel. I wonder if this is an anti-Leo team though. I do wonder. Yeah, we're taking a lot of damage. Yeah, we have to cleanse this, can we proc? Mm, no proc. Ooh, she got a proc. Oh, yeah, she dropped, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I think this defense is built to battle this off this offense just because I feel like I just did so much damage. Yeah, let's see. We might be close, but I think once they get going, it's going to be really hard to come back from here. Let's, let's see. Let's see what happens here. Uh, big hit. Ooh, yeah, he's hitting hard. I definitely think this is built to counter this offense. Uh, yeah, we're probably not gonna be able to win it right here. Just taking just a bit too much damage. Oh yeah, and there goes the defense break. Uh, yeah, it's probably lost from here, unfortunately. Yeah, this defense, I guess we can probably go back and see how much damage it deals, but they're definitely really tanky, so, and high axe, so they're very efficient builds. But yeah, it's gonna be a loss from here. All right, we're going into Vigor, Molly Kinky. We're gonna be using Triana Chacha Fuko. So this is kind of a little bit of an old defense for sure. Um, you, you really don't see Molly that much on the meta anymore since her passive got nerfed. And of course I pull a Molly right after her passive gets nerfed. So it, it's kind of unfortunate, but for the most part, she's still pretty decent. I think she's still kind of okay on defense. I think people just need to understand how to build her now. Um, 
she definitely still has potential for cleaves to be anti-cleave and i think she still has some she she's gonna she's close it's just gonna take some creativity maybe but we'll see um so but another thing is this defense has only gotten weaker because kinky's gotten nerfed molly's gotten nerfed and then my fuko has gotten buffed if you don't remember the fuko buffs uh, when the shield breaks he just revenges with us too which is kind of broken so i mean fuko only got stronger uh, with this versus this defense and usually when you're running of building a fuko you usually run like higher defense and hp just because of the shield um and this build seems like really squishy but remember he starts the battle with the shield and then he's gonna get that every turn so he, he got a bit of built-in mitigation um i don't and it shouldn't proc the revenge from kinky either i don't believe i hope not but we're gonna see how this goes we're gonna go for the vigor first and once vigor's down it should be one from there because kinky and molly shouldn't be able to do enough damage so yeah let's see how things go See if we can detect the builds. There's definitely gonna be destroy. Yeah, it's probably destroy kinky. Usually, if there's no destroy on this defense, it just loses. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna S1 the vigor. And you want you you need to really run a crit damage Triana versus teams like this because you, you're just missing out on a lot if you don't um, take advantage. Um we're just I'm just gonna see if I can slow the Molly for now. I really don't wanna waste time waking up the vigor. Um yeah, we're just going to I could try to see if this is a low res kinky just for the heck of it okay it's a low res kinky so we, that was good that was a good swap we didn't throw the throw back the defense break but it really doesn't matter um i do wonder though if in cases like this where since molly's chained i could just go straight for the molly i didn't think about it that till now but it should be fine regardless um uh, well let's give it a shot let's just let's just go straight into the molly honestly just because it seems like the, it seems more practical. Okay, let's just hit into her. Especially because this Molly doesn't seem like she's high res either. My f Unless I don't remember my Fuko being this much accuracy. Let's see. I'm still hitting pretty hard. Okay, she should, ooh, missed crit. Uh, she's, okay, yeah, she's probably going to heal up here. And then, can we defense break? All right, good. Oh, kill. Oh, okay, she should die here. Okay, I'm gonna call it right here because I think it's gonna be one from here that, I don't even know if this kinky has, okay, kinky has a shore, but it's really low. And once it gets to the kinky battle, it's pretty easy to control the Fuka, so it should be one from here. All right, we're going to Geldner, Theomars, Ophelia. We're gonna be using Bovrick, Amelia, Molong. So we used it before, same thing here. We're gonna be sniping out the Geldnir, and after that, it really should be one. Um, you can definitely do a turn one offense versus this, but you always have to remember that there could be a swift Ophelia, and with a 33% speed lead, that's pretty scary to contest if you don't have the rune quality for that. Um, there are some free to play turn two offense, offenses as well, but um, in this case, we're just gonna go for the safer option that we're used to. Now, there are a lot of offenses nowadays, but man, you gotta spend time building them. And then do make sure your team is full minus water because Theomars is the only damaging threat here. And having a little bit of plus damage on light helps too, but really you should be fine. All right, let's get into it. And what's good about this is you can use an unskilled Molong. As long, granted you, you use the S3 at a good time probably. Okay, so in this case right here, we got you got to remember we need to get through the Ophelia threat state. So we're gonna S1, S1, transform, S1. All right, threat state is gone. So now we slurp the Geldnir, and then we bonk. All right, should be one from here. All right, we're going to Nana, Benedict, Nora. We're going to be using Galleon, Mephisto, Julie. So there's a cleave with Mephisto. It's like Mephisto, Lucian, Konamiya. And, I'm, and I was thinking, okay, maybe this will work with this. But the thing is, I'm not really that great at turn one offense. And still, I need to still figure out like how to sp streamline my tuning process. So I'm pretty sure this isn't tuned at all. Um, I'm kind of... 
I'm kind of hoping that it's not a swift in any case and we can get through it. But the idea here is that uh, Mephisto boosts, um, we do our thing, and then we have two fight sets, which helps as well. And then Julie's gonna come and clean up uh, with her build. Yeah, this is this is the one I use for the Bernard team, so I'm not sure this is gonna work here, but this will be a good test. Um, definitely, if it's not tuned, we'll just have to go back and make a new build specifically for this. But for the most part, I think this is kind of an okay offense versus this defense. So we'll see how this works out, and uh, yeah, hopefully things go well. Let's we'll see how it happens. So let's see if we move. They could be swift. Okay, oh, they're all on will. Um, maybe no Nem. Okay, they do seem kind of squishy. Do we move? Okay, I didn't see any Nem. I'm so scared to hit the Nora. I don't even want to hit the Nora. Um, I'm just going to S1 the, no the Nana. Oh, uh, oh, okay, fine. Fine, we'll hit the Nora. Okay, I think this should... Oh, wait. Oh, I completely forgot. I forgot Mephisto's S2 absorbs HP, so we're not going to get the full bonus. Um, I think we might still kill the Mephisto and Nana, though, so let's see what happens. Okay, everything just dropped. Okay. Okay, we got lucky. We messed up, but we got lucky. All right, we're going to Zenobia, Shayna, Martina. We're going to be using Julie. So this defense was scouted to potentially be all three on Will, which could be scary for Julie comms, but you do have to remember that Julie herself... She still gets a damage boost even if they have a, 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 a like a immunity or she like if they have beneficial effects, she still gets a 50% damage boost. So I still feel like we'll do good damage uh, for the most part. So I'm kind of confident in our damage. It's this is mostly so that I outspeed. I really don't want to turn to this comp and I don't want to risk letting them proc if I try to do some other comp. So we're gonna give this a shot, see how it goes. So yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, it could, it, this is possible it could be anti-Julie, but I'm not really sure with their base stats if that's possible. Um, so we'll get, we're going to see what happens here. Usually if there's a Triana, it could be scarier, like Martina, Shannon, Triana, but we we'll see how this goes. We'll see what happens. All right. And everything just drops. All right. We're going to Mi Yang, Cichlid Han. We're going to be using Julie. So there is a slight speed advantage on this defense. But for the most part, going turn two into this can be kind of scary, especially with a multi-hitter like Han. So I'm kind of opting to go for like the fastest turn one option I can right here. Um, there are probably better turn one options in this, but uh, we're just going to roll with Julie and uh, hopefully we outspeed. Uh, I, I could definitely make a faster Bernard though in that case. But okay, so it looks like they were not on Swift, thankfully. So uh, yeah, we end up, we should probably clear this pretty easily considering also... Uh, the rest of it. That could be a Nem. So right here, I'm not going to hit that Cichlid. She could be on Nem. Um, I'm actually going to hit the Mi Yang. And then we S3. And there we go. All right, we're going to Carcano, Adriana, El Shari, and we're going to be using Julie. Um, we have a, just about the same speed. Of, it, there could be a Swift Carcano that... It's technically one speed faster, but it's very unlikely. So for the most part, this is a pretty even speed match. And um, of course, anti julie is always possible, but for the most part, we're pretty tanky. Or, uh, we have pretty sufficient damage. Um, I mean, it's, it's Julie. You, you're kind of just going to have to say a prayer and send it. So let's just go for it. <laughs> okay, let's see what happens here. Nothing is on will. Hallelujah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uh, All right, we're going to Martina, Shanna, Triana. We're going to be using Scarlet, Tian, Lucian. So this is, I mean, it's an older defense, but you're definitely going up against uh, potential traps if you're not using some kind of attack increase in addition to your attack booster, which in this case is the Tian. And then the additional attack is coming from Scarlet, who has an attack lead, and then also have a fight set on her as well. I um, mean, she also provides a little bit of cleanup. Um, and you can use her really with any Lucian team in four-star defenses. And she has an attack lead. It's kind of like using um, the Fire Lightning Emperor. I can't think of his name right now. Um, like in five-star bases. So this is like the four-star equivalent for that. And just, I mean, Tion is just your swift set. And then here's the Lucian. Um, probably could be a little bit better. But for the most part, it's, 
it should be enough for what we're going up against. Um, you're always at risk when, when you're not using a Dova as your attack bar booster. Um, you're always risking going into a Swift Shayna. So there's always a chance it could be a Swift Shayna. So we're gonna be looking out for that. But uh, other than that, I think we might be good here. Otherwise we could have just Julie, but we're, we're out of Julie's. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. Hopefully it's not a trap. Is this not Swift? We might be fine. Okay, it's all on Will, so good thing we didn't Julie, even though we're out of Julie school skill ups. Let's go ahead and boost. And then does this kill the Triana? Okay, there we go. And then so this and then this should just clean up. So she's basically there for cleanup. Nice. Alright, we're going to the more Zen Perna. We're gonna be using Tractor Camilla Wendy. So this is a pretty decent turn two comp versus defenses like this and where you can run the two wind plus water format and Wendy is still pretty good at tanking even though he lost some self mitigation. Also, I'm getting attacked by a mosquito as we speak so we gotta make this fast. And I don't think Tractor's gonna take much damage so I'm opting to just run full additionals. Probably could run a faster Camilla but I'm probably, I'm just gonna abuse the uh, Wendy speed lead if possible. So we'll see how this goes. I definitely think this should be faster though, but I think we'll be fine. And then again, this is just my cha-cha set. And I think with all the movement that defense is gonna have, having revenge is gonna be valuable. All right, let's get into it. So we'll probably end up going for the, either the more or the Perna first, depending how we feel this is gonna go. Um, okay, so can we stun? All right, good stun. Freeze. All right, that's nice. Okay. So far, so good. Okay, we did get stunned, unfortunately. That's despair. So we need to get rid of that more. I don't like having those despair stuns. So can we stun again? Uh, it's probably going to proc his passive. And then, can we proc? Um, will this kill? Ooh, we missed crit. Um, we'll just kill off the more. All right, awesome. Burnish is wailing away. Can we freeze? All right, that's a good freeze. Maybe we can kill her with the, um, if we get a cooldown reset, that would be convenient, but I doubt it's gonna happen. And what's good is once you get this Camilla S2 going on this Perna, it's really hard for her to do anything. It's, it's, it's such a overpowering s second skill, especially on a two-turn cooldown. It's it's very oppressive. So let's see. She's almost down here. And all right, there we go. It should be one from here. All right, we're going to the Triana Suiki Iris. We're going to be using Logan Cha Cha Triana. So this is a fairly old format of a defense. Um, Iris did get buffed, but really the only thing that kind of affects is just her, I guess the build quality. And also there is a little bit more threatening of a turn one uh, threat of an Iris. Cause technically you could run a swift Iris and her S2 could silence and trap an offense, for example. So that's technically something that could happen, but it's, it really opens up the offense to just abuse that if that's a possibility and just run turn two instead. So. You really have to be put in a position where running a swift iris would make sense. Otherwise, the threat for this defense versus our offense is really just, you know, just some RNG from maybe too much, too many stuns or uh, enough procs to go through our cha-cha. But for the most part, we just have so much mitigation. It's hard for that to happen. And they could technically do like a double despair where you run a despair iris and a despair suiki and you just don't move. And that's pretty strong as well. Um, we're going to be going for the Triana first, though, because I don't want to risk hitting into Revenge and messing up. And it's, it's easier than having to go through Triana passive as well. All right, let's get into it. Hopefully our L Logan doesn't get blown up too much. I feel like he should be a little bit tankier, but it's okay. All right, good Revenge. All right, perfect. Yeah, once Logan gets a shield up, it's pretty good. And then let's go ahead and buff for the attack buff. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and S3 now. Okay, she's gonna do that. That's okay. Yeah, we just gotta cycle turns, really. Um, yeah, we'll wake up Logan. We need to keep him turn cycling. 
Let's get the attack buff up. Wow, he's moving a lot. What? Why is he moving so much? Alright, I guess I can't complain. I do want a shield on him, though. Wow. We are zooming. And that's Cha Cha's specialty. So there's something called proc protection, where when you the, and Cha Cha is one of those units that has proc protection, where if even if the defense procs a lot, your Cha Cha is still gonna sustain through it, and that's what I call proc protection. And that's what Cha Cha does best and has always done best. So, and then in this case, it's pretty much one. I I would assume that they don't really have any destroy, not that I can see, and. Seems like it's going to be kind of hard to get through a cha-cha, so I think it should be one from here. Thanks for watching. Have a good weekend, and I'll see you next week. Bye.